Yo, Dan Larson here. This week, we are going to create this sound. Of course, I'm talking about this bass sound, which is very similar to what Nausea used in his Oh Oh track. Okay, so this is the sound. At first, I must tell you that this loop, basically the bass loop itself, is a loop from my newest sample pack released on Loop Masters. Here is the sample pack itself. It's called Drum and Bass Neuro Silence. It's not Silence, but it'll be a great name too. Science. So it's the Drum and Bass Neuro Science. I will uh, drop the link for uh, for the. I will drop the link for the pack in the descriptions. And uh, this pack contains lots of very heavy drum and bass basses, drum and bass drums, drum and bass music loop, even effects loop. And I have some bass multis. But let me show you some of the bass loops. Uh, one of my favorite is uh, the 38th. And there are other very nasty bass loops here. Let's see some of them from above. A little dubstep we one. Just a few of them and some of the drum loops, let me see. The full ones only because, you know, I separated to kicks and the snares, shuffle, tops. But let's just check some of the full loops. Very heavy drums. some of the music loops to synth loops. You know, I'm just picking them randomly. I didn't plan before what I will show you. This is a very cool sound coming from Serum. Some nice tabs. Some vocal stuff. This is one of my favorite. Very nice. Anyway, <clears throat> so if you are interested in, please head over to Loop Master's site. Check the demo too. Oh, I clicked it away. Uh, let's go back. So check the demo song. I think it's very, very heavy. It's really nice. Nero drum and bass stuff. So for the sound, what I just showed you in the in the beginning of the video, it's time to show you how I made it. So this is a serum patch and I added some effects on the 
I mean, serum itself sounds this. With the effect. And the patch itself is very simple because it is based on a basic shape. And it is a... What's that? Square wave. Yeah. I added some unison and I made it plugged using a low pass filter. Without a filtering, it's not the same because the pluckiness, low pass filtering is a very essential part of this patch. And I didn't add too much effects on it, only a compressor and some distortion, but the distortion should be, um, here is the envelope, uh, should be, uh, you know, modulated using an envelope because on the pluck, on the very transient of the sound, you need some distortion, but when it goes down and it starts, <coughs> the filter starts filtering the sound, the bass, we don't need that much uh, drive, okay? So this is what this envelope does to the drive, with the drive. With, without a distortion. And if I, you know, just bypass the modulation, bypass modulator envelope 2, and added uh, rather similar amounts of distortion what this envelope drives or, or modulates, it will sound, well, not that good. As you can hear, it's not what we want. Because we want only the transient of the, of the bass should be um, distorted. So this is the patch itself, but without the additional effects, it's not the same. First of all, I use a multiband compression, like always, everybody uh, compresses uh, the basses and everything which is bass heavy. And I just try to get rid of the middle bass, middle frequencies. But I think if I do it too much, it won't sound well. So this was, uh, at 100% scale, was my first sound. I mean, my first try of... Uh, it is cool on its own. But if I, you know, just decrease the scale amount, it goes a lot closer to what Noisia did. On my, in my pack, I used the scale on 100 version of the loop. But it is a lot cooler on a lower scale. Okay, so after it, <clears throat> I mean after the EQ, I have a Trash. This is an awesome distortion plugin. I used Omicide, and I just I just didn't get it. Uh, it's this this Trash is so intuitive. It's so easy to use. It's so hands-on. Very great plugin. And what I did here is I split up the frequency to three bands, and I applied uh, different distortion on the middle and on the high band. On the middle band, we have this crunchy grunge drive. Uh, algorithm probably but I as I see I disabled it so probably we have only one distortion yeah sorry so we have only distortion on the top end which is a mirror overdrive and I pulled back the pre because I didn't want that much crunch on the highs and I added a filter just you know I boosted up the highs a little one let's see the Graph, yeah, filter one and trash. Okay, so I boosted the highs before the trash, before the distortion. So this is very, very simple. I didn't pull back the wet anything here, nothing else really. But it has a... Very, very distinct uh, uh, sound for the, for the trash. I mean, it gives a very distinct difference to the sound. And some, um, some other EQing, I boost, uh, I cut the highs. We don't want too much highs on the basses. And, and I got rid of some of the 2000 Hertz. We don't want this. We don't want these paper frequencies. It's not good. And some limiting, and this is all. It's a very simple patch.
and it's not 100% accurate to what Nauseam uh, used in his OO track, but I think the method is similar. So go on, download this patch from the descriptions below. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like the video and share it on your Facebook uh, or, any, or everywhere else. Thank you for listening to my video. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.